Goalrilla is the leader in residential in-ground basketball goals, setting the standard for durability and quality and helping your athlete reach their full potential. This video will take you through the installation process for a Goalrilla system, from installing the anchor kit to assembling the goal. If your Goalrilla is being shipped to you, verify that the delivery company delivers three boxes that each have the same color stripe on each box. Prior to installation of your anchor kit, you must call utility services for location of underground utility lines before you dig. More information can be found at www.call811.com. Items needed for anchor kit installation not included. 11 80-pound bags of concrete. It's a good idea to purchase a couple extra bags just in case you dig your hole larger than instructed. 1 post hole digger. 1 shovel. 1 15 16th open end wrench. 1 15 16th socket and ratchet. 1 concrete form. 1 wheelbarrow. 1 garden hose. 1 level. 1 tape measure. Step 1. Cut along the dotted lines on the long pole box, being careful not to exert the blade too deep into the underside of the cardboard. Pull out the anchor kit box. The instructions should be taped to the anchor kit box. Instructions can also be found at Gorilla.com. Step 2. Read Anchor System Installation Instructions Day 1 thoroughly. Step 3. Mark the placement of your anchor system by factoring in the overhang. Overhang is provided in Part 1, Step 1 of Instructions. It's best to leave room between the anchor system and court. Step 4. Assemble the anchor system. Details can be found in Part 1, Step 2 of the Instruction. Step 5. Ensure the concrete form is parallel to the court before digging. Step 6. Dig a 16-inch diameter hole that is 48 inches in depth. Once the 48-inch depth hole is dug, it is recommended to flare out the bottom of the hole to 20 inches diameter to provide greater stability. Step 7. Mix and pour concrete into the hole. Agitate the concrete every so often to work out voids in the concrete. Continue until about 18 inches of free hole remains. Step 8. Insert the four pieces of rebar into the concrete in a square formation. Push all the way down to the bottom of the hole. Step 9. Continue to mix and pour concrete until the concrete is slightly above the form. Agitate the concrete and use your trowel to work concrete into any voids in the corners. Smooth out the surface of the concrete. Step 10. Take a straight edge and mark a line in the concrete where you want to place the front of the anchor plate. Ensure this line is parallel to your cord. Step 11. Push the anchor system into the concrete and agitate to work out any voids in the concrete. Immediately use a level to level the anchor system. Ensure that your anchor system is square to the cord. Step 12. Finish your concrete with your trowel. Wipe off any excess concrete that may be on your anchor plate or exposed threads. Let concrete stand for a minimum of 72 hours.